tell us who you are. My name is Matt Matthew. I'm plant manager of Fairfield Tubular Steel Operations. I'm responsible for the new complex here in Fairfield. Okay, so what are we looking at? Beg pardon? What are we looking at? We are in the, the EAF bay of the new melt shop. This entire bay is brand new and I want to give you a little bit of a process overview of what happens in this bay. The first thing that happens is trucks go to our scrap yard and get loaded with scrap. We're going to recycle this scrap in the electric furnace process. They'll be brought here and dumped into a charge bucket. The charge bucket can hold upwards of 160 tons. And the next step in the process is one of these two 225 ton overhead cranes will come up and pick the charge bucket up with its main hoist and with its auxiliary hoist. And it'll carry the, trans the charge bucket kind of where we're standing now to the electric arc furnace. That is an electric arc furnace. It's the newest, most modern way to make steel. It's, it's flexible, it's low cost, and this is a fine example of one. So if you can imagine the top of the electric furnace, the roof raising up hydraulically and then pivoting off, leaving an exposed cavity, the charge bucket will position itself about over that cavity. And then the auxiliary hoist will raise up on the crane and the charge bucket will open up at the bottom and all the scrap will fall into the electric arc furnace. The roof will pivot back on, the crane will go back out of the way, and then the process will start here. So you'll have three graphite electrodes coming down and melting the scrap, both with the resistance from the resistance from the current passing through the scrap and then the radiant heat from the arc itself. There's eight burners with uh, oxygen and natural gas in here. So it's, it's truly lightning in a bottle.